We all love the Heli Pilot Tower, but if you're like me, when you think of the Heli Pilot, you think of the Apache Prime or the Support Chinook. Very rarely does the Comanche Commander even cross your mind. He's the lesser of the three, and nobody ever wants to use him. But today, that changes. The modern Cosmic has made the Comanche Commander the talk of the town and has added additional tiers to this tower, making it unbelievably crazy. And today, we're going to be testing it out. And since I heard that this tower is phenomenally strong, we're going to be using it on a map that needs a little bit more love. On Unimpoppable, and I'm talking an expert map, the Creme de la Creme Infernal. This map is difficult on its own. We're going to make it even more difficult by playing on Impoppable. But I truly think that playing with our new Comanche Commander, eighth tier, fifth tier, whatever it may be, is going to make this insanely awesome. Now, first things first, we need to make our money to get to that tower as quickly as we can. But as you know, on this map, our funds are limited because we can only place two farms, one here and one here, very precisely, and then a couple of boats if you're lucky. But one of the reasons I enjoy this map so much is because it's kind of like a puzzle. Once you figure it out, it's not too crazy unless you lose, but you're good over there. We had some spikes left I couldn't see. But once you get the hang of it, it just it gives it that extra level of intensity that you need to test something like an eighth tier Apache Commander Nutso Tower here. And this is what I was talking about. I can never find the spot just right. It takes me like three or four rounds just to get it there. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, finally. Now, another crazy little secret about this map. I wouldn't say it's a secret, just more of a, a pain in the butt than anything, is that you can actually fit three boats in here if you do it ever so slightly to the corner there and shove this guy up as high as you possibly can. And then you literally get like one pixel here. Oh, I got two pixels. Oh my gosh. And now I can boat farm. And if I played my cards right by throwing that sub at the top left as possible, I could throw two more boats right here. Oh, I saw it there. I saw it. There we go. Perfect farming on this map. This is very minimal, but it'll get the job done. Now, my goal isn't here to make a millions amounts of money, just enough to get us to where we have enough in the end if something was to go awry. So I have my banana farm. I think that's going to be my end there. And then I'm going to get my elite sniper to not only help us defeat 63, but also give us that little influx of three grand every couple of minutes, which is amazing. Plus our five boats. I think that's more than enough to get this thing going because I truly don't think there's like any better defense in the earlier game and mid game than just an elite sniper and an alchemist. It's just crazy how much he can take down. Now, I feel like our money is more than sufficient, so let's start this off. But now, if you guys have ever played this map before on Chimps or on Impoppable, you know there's a cool little strat here to do with a helicopter. And how we're going to pull it off is we're going to throw our alchemist right here. And the reason why I know all this is because I've beaten Chimps a few times with the Apache Prime. But like I said, Apache Prime is overused. We always use the Apache Prime. So today, I'm really excited to test out how great this upgraded additional tiered Comanche Commander is if we can just do it just right. And what better map than an expert map? To show how truly great you are and if we place it just right we can put a village right here there we go and it doesn't matter what tier you're using at that point but now it doesn't matter what fifth tier you're going for this will still work which is why it's great because we're going with this one that's awesome and we're going to put him on pursuit too because we can get this to like a mib village so even if he can't pop lead i think the comanche commander can pop lead right that'd be crazy if he couldn't now only at round 73 that's why we need that extra money we have our comanche commander and there we go we're seven eight percent of the way to the fortunate sun the additional tier tiered Comanche commander. And I think for this one, we only need 100,000 pops. And luckily he already had a, almost 10,000. So I think we'll get there pretty quickly. The sniper's taking away from our pops though. He holds everything back and then our Comanche can't even touch it. But you know what I didn't even think about? Oh my God, these additional tiers usually cost tons of money. I didn't, okay. We're gonna have to sell this later and get this, but we'll get camo for now. And then that one. So now he gets more money when he pops because I just realized we're gonna need like bajillions of dollars. I was just trying to be super cool and show you guys off and say, hey, look it, I can beat this on an expert map and this tower is so strong, but are we gonna be able to even upgrade it without no money? But we're almost there, 98, 99. Let's see what we got here. Oh, what the heck, fortunate son. There you go. You guys ever heard that song? Probably a lot of you have never even heard of it. But if you haven't, look it up. It's a great song. And that's an awesome little reference there. And a little cool little, what do you call that? A B-roll? That's really cool. I've never seen that in modding or in blooms before. Now, I'm a little nervous to even check, but let's see what we got. Was that, oh, please be wrong on my math. Is that 1 million? Three, four, that's $1 million. Ah, oh, geez. But currently, we're at three damage and 24 range. Our range doesn't really matter because he stays right up on it. Well, I guess it would matter, huh? Because he doesn't have to get so close, which is nice. But we're going to get an extra 29 damage just by upgrading for a million dollars. Oh my gosh. So what we're going to have to do, obviously, is grab a farm here. We can we can make this work, guys. Do not worry. And given that this guy's insanely strong, I don't think it's going to actually need that upgrade for a little bit here. So we have enough time to get our farms where they should be, I think. 
So I'm struggling here. I'm trying to get as much money as we possibly can while also upgrading here. And it doesn't look like this guy's going to be strong enough, but I got this guy to help our abilities out a little bit, make him speed up. We're just going to need that a million dollars faster than we don't. But I think maybe we can upgrade just a little bit here for now, just to maybe help us out. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to upgrade this guy, aren't we? This is not good. I'm a little nervous here, guys, not gonna lie. I'm thinking we just beat round 100 so we can get to that next upgrade, I think. Because I'm just gonna grab this guy, the permanent brew, and that should make me immensely stronger. We don't need our MIB anymore now. And we have all this money coming in and we just need a million dollars for that first upgrade. And we can even afford some more farms here, which is nice. And if we upgrade them a little bit, maybe they'll help out too. Maybe not though. I think we're going to have to, <laughs> we're going to have to overclock you. That's insane. I thought we could take all this out. Last second win there, guys. Oh my gosh. I'll have to use Ben's ability too. No way. No way. I think I have to do some restructuring here. We're going to need some help with this guy to make him through it. So we got their ice on that side and both sides actually. So that's going to help out quite a bit. I feel like we even need like uh, shattering shells or something. This guy needs to be stronger. What are we doing here? He's perma brood, but he doesn't have jungle drums. That's a bummer, huh? And I'm going to have to overclock him overclock him is it enough is it enough come on buddy come on use your first ability there use ben's ability use it all oh wow that guy's strong <laughs> okay so i think what we're gonna do here is get rid of this one we don't need the more money right now we need to live so we'll get jungle drums there we go and then we'll get homeland too that'll be great i just feel like we're fighting way too hard here to stay alive i need to do something about that maybe the will homeland like completely help us it definitely will but we're just not taking out zomg as fast as i need to so I think we're going to ultra boost our buddy now too to help him out a little bit. Just get that thing stronger than it needs to be. And then we could sell everything if we need to to get to the next level. I think we can make this. It's a fight and I should have chosen a better map with more farming. But you live and you learn. And I think this makes it more interesting. You need a little danger in your life. You can't just have it all easy going mod and stuff, right? These bads are just too much for us right now. We need to upgrade even with an overclock. Look at that homeland overclock. We're literally throwing everything we have at him. So he's perma boosted time 10 ultra boost. So you just can't see it because it doesn't show. And then I've added a spirit of force for the money, but it doesn't, it doesn't really do too much. So we need something else that's going to help us out here. I wanted like this tower, but I just don't know how we'd place it anywhere that's useful because I wanted like super mines for a safety defense. I mean, technically we could get super mines on the bottom and then the other one at the top perma spike, but I, I don't want to do any of that. I think we're close to it. We're a third of the way there or 30% of the way there to that million dollar price mark. Plus we can sell if we truly need to. But so far between our overclocking and our call to arms, look at this thing go. It's it's actually destroying everything on its own. Well, I guess the wrong choice of words is on its own because he has a lot of help from his friends. But once we get that first upgrade, I feel like it's going to really make a difference. Now, hang on. Does this guy still give a speed boost to helicopters? I know he does to aces. Now, he should give a boost, but I guess... Oh, that's the problem, though. We're not going to actually know. So you guys got to let me know below if the ace top path boat gives a buff to the helis. I'm not actually sure, but it doesn't matter at this point. We need anything we can get because like, I'm making it sound like it's super crazy difficult, but it's just a little bit of an ability timing thing. And it's really not that big of a deal. I just keep overclocking and then I hit my homeland if it's too scary. So I can't say that this guy is bad. What I can say is that I'm bad for choosing a map that has like zero farming capabilities and this is the best we can do. All right, here's that fortified bad on round 140. I don't think we're going to be able to take it as is. I really don't. So I think we're going to have to sell to get to our million dollar upgrade uh, we could use all this stuff here try to pop it out use our overclocks or we're not even making a dent i hate the round 140 bad <laughs> Almost there though. Almost there. Almost there. Can we do it? We can uh, almost almost. Okay. We can make that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to sell you. Okay. We'll need $105,000. We'll get rid of you. Cause I don't know if you're actually doing anything and we'll get rid of spirit and we'll get rid of this one. There's our million dollars. There we go. Let's upgrade it. Boom. Now we need 2.5 million. You're not even cool. Not even cool. But we'll just do this and then we'll use this ability. Oh my God. See, that's what I'm talking about. Look at those upgrades. And we'll homeland that thing. That's what I want to see. It's just pure damage. This thing is a brute. And that's what we wanted to see there. Okay. We're going to change things up just a little bit here. We're going to move a tech bot here, put it on our homeland, put a tech bot here, put it on this guy, and we'll get a farm on this guy and we'll tech bot him. And last but not least, we will get an overclock. We will overclock him and tech bot him now we got all these tech bots here spend a lot of money but hopefully it'll work out so now everything that's going to help us is being used but this guy can help too right yes okay we got to get that one as well so we can put him on strong now another thing i want to do is add a little bit more love and to speed this up to getting that money i know we're spending it to get it but i'm going to buy the navarch of the seas 
because now not only does he give us money, but he's going to pull down these mobs a lot faster. And of course, we can tech bot him as well and make this thing really crazy. Oh my gosh, we just took out round 200 and I don't I don't think it's going to be enough. We, we have $1.1 million, so we can sell this guy and get near to, near to 2 million. But then we have like a couple hundred thousand left with every... And then we just lose on two on one. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we got here. We're just blowing money. We always do. Okay, but we do have him under a boat here. So it should sell for more. We got 1.7. We could sell this guy. We could sell this guy and 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 this guy. Oh my God. We're not even close. Can you imagine $2.5 million? We didn't make it. All right, we've added his buddy, the legend of the night, which also has additional tiers. I'm hoping he doesn't get to that point. But if we do lose, what the heck? I thought his stuff does stuff. When did his legend of the night not legend of the night anymore? You know what? I can't leave you guys like this. I honestly can't believe we made it to the point where we have to fabricate this guy's existence and see how strong he is. And I'm sure once we get those upgrades, it's going to be extremely strong. So it's my fault. It is my fault that I farmed terribly. I'm not a natural born farmer. I've planted a few cabbages and some carrots in my life, and that's about it. But there's our fortunate son. Let's upgrade him. Let's get him through. Look at on round 98, he's kind of struggling. But then you do the upgrade and he's still not the craziest we'll do round 120 well okay 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 that's too easy for us let's set to round 200 and obviously it's too much but if we upgrade oh wow they get really cool that's not fair oh that's not fair and if we homeland oh my gosh look at that thing go that's busted that's what i was looking for all right let's try it without this stuff though 200 again 200 can you actually do it i think you actually can i really do but i don't know about that second one though he's really strong Oh my gosh. Okay, do we do it? Do we do it? Oh, almost, almost, almost. Okay, so what's the max round we can do then? I know we can do round 199. Uh, no, we can't. No, we cannot. Okay, whatever. Let's do this. And then we'll also do this because we can, this mode, we can just keep buying it, which is cool. So I just have to count to 10 because we don't know exactly how many we have. So I'm just going to do like 30 and then we'll know for sure. And since this guy's juiced up as can be, we're going to go to around 300. I think he can take it. Oh my gosh. No, we cannot. Those DDTs, why are they so fast? Okay, 250 then. Why you got to be like that? I just want to show how cool you are. DDTs, how do I get lucky and get DDTs every time? All right, 240 then, 240. DDTs on it. Okay, we took those DDTs though. DDTs are just too fast for us. But this guy is a zoomer and he is crazy. And then once we get the whole homeland, nothing can get past our bow. Look at that go. I'm impressed. I like it a lot. Not as strong as our buddy, the millionth tier tax zone, but he's getting there. And if you want to see even more Bloons content, check out this video where we play as a Bloon or as a Moab and play the most difficult round in the entire game. Can we beat it?